Holy moly. Today is Saturday, March 11th. Wait, 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 wait. March 21st, what the heck. <laughs> March 21st, just weighed myself in the morning. It's like a 10 a.m. right now. 72.3 kgs, holy crap. It hasn't even been four weeks yet. And that means I'm down like 2.7 kgs. Holy shiz, man. Well, guys, today is Saturday, and I planned on sleeping in super late so I could, you know, just rest and stuff, but the mailman came and rang my doorbell at, like, 10 o'clock, and so I woke up and, you know, had to pay him and stuff like that. And this mailman, like, I did cash on delivery, and I tried to give him a 10000 and he said he didn't have, like, any money on him, so I had to give him, like, exact money, and, uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. Normally, this is supposed to carry around change so they can change the, the... So they can give you change if you give them too too much money, but whatever. But then when I tried to go back to sleep, wasn't happening, you know how that goes. But I got my package from Amazon right here, and what is this? Well, let me open it up and show you. Alright, open it up. So we got this thing, and what is this? Ozeri. Take some of the plastic real quick. Oh, finger. Finger. So, come on. This is a very difficult one handed. Again, wish I had somebody to hold the camera. So, there it is. So, what is this? Check it out, guys. It is a food scale. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Let me take it out of the thing. Oh, wow. It's all in English. All right. Let me take this out. So, it comes with a book that tells you calories for a bunch of things. But, you know, we got my fitness pal on the internet nowadays, so we don't need this. Throw that away. Ooh. User manual. And check this out. Holy moly. Look how look at the sleek design. Come out. Oh shit. Look at this thing. Oh man. That is beautiful. Look at this. Oof. Oof. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So why did I buy another food scale? Well you see this is my old food scale. And you see how it's kinda not on center? Because I don't know, I don't know how this happened, but look. This is like the thing you're supposed to weigh stuff on, and it's supposed to be connected to this, but randomly one day it just came off. So now, I can still use it obviously, but it's a little dangerous because, you know, if you put stuff on it and you don't balance it perfectly, like if you put a huge bowl or like a blender on here, and then it just goes, and then everything falls and uh, you get screwed. So, you know, don't want to deal with it, and you know, why not? get a little something like this, you know, keep me encouraged throughout this diet, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go to the gym here and train some legs and check this out. Made some, oh that looks disgusting in the camera, that's the ground beef. But I made some tacos, like actual tacos for lunch today. I get on these like little streaks of where I really like a certain type of food. <laughs> so, right now it seems to be Hispanic style food or Mexican Tex-Mex. So anyway, they're making a little cocktail arena. This is a BCAAs. And there, boom. And uh, yesterday, I don't know what the deal is, but I felt like amazing when I was working out yesterday. And I wonder if it's because I mix a little bit of amino energy into my intro workout drink. So I'm gonna try that again and see if it has the same effect. That looks disgusting in the background, okay. <laughs> So I'm gonna put just to put a little bit of this in here and see you know if that has any kind of effect. I mean it might just be placebo effect if anything. But yesterday honestly though I felt great when I was working out. So I'm gonna repeat the same thing and see what happens. I'm put like put like a well let's see that's a not a full scoop at all. Probably a little put like half a scoop of this in there. And the flavor is really really good like this so here we go mix this crap up holy moly it's been forever since i've been able to wear shorts and look, look at my legs now holy look at this holy crap dude i can tell you they were not like this 
before. Holy. Jeez. <laughs> Freaking sucking my own dick over here. <laughs> All right, guys, commentary again, and today I will be walking you through my leg workout. So with my leg workouts, there's not too much variation. Except sometimes I do some front squats, sometimes I do some back squats, but uh, pretty much it's the same because all the motions are pretty uh, essential, I think. So uh, as you could see in the clip before, I was pretty happy at seeing my how my legs developed after not seeing them for so long. This belt isn't that tight anymore after after slimming down a few pounds. Alright, so getting into things, the first exercise was the squat, and as I mentioned before, there's two, there's different types of squats depending on what you want to focus on. So the back squat is always going to put more focus on the glutes than the front squat. The front squat is used if you want to focus more on just the quads and not too much on the glutes. Oh, check this out. I was feeling extra. For, I, I was feeling good again today, and maybe it was the drink, I don't know, but I was feeling super good, so I went for a an all-time PR, even while on this diet after losing how many ever pounds. So uh, this was, it's not that much of a PR, but the point is, it's a PR. It was 231 pounds, 105 kg, I believe, and what well, was 105 kg, I think that's 231 pounds. Not looking at Google right now, but yeah. I got it for eight, did the first set of eight, but um, after that, was I felt super exhausted after that first <laughs> the first set. So uh, each each of the following sets, I lower I lowered it and did only I think let's see what that is 37.5 37.5 on each side plus 20 kgs on the bar. But point is, I lowered the weight after the first set because I was exhausted after the first set. Anyway, so let me tell you the different types of uh, squats. There's two back squats, the high bar back squat and the low bar back squat. If you put it high on your neck like I do, then it puts a little more emphasis on the quads and less on the glutes, but it's still, it's still more on the glutes than the front squat would be. The front squat is the most qua uh, quads, quads focused squat. High bar is a little, is like in between, and then the low bar uh, back squat is most glute focused out of the three. So, you know, pick and choose whatever you want to do the most. So, <laughs> look at this. Check, check this out. All right, let's go for that second step. Whoa, about to fall over there. See, I almost tipped over there. So, this is actually the first time I've ever done this, the lunges in place with the barbell on my back. Normally, I just hold dumbbells, but, you know, I just, I just wanted to try it with the barbell, see if it felt different. I want to try out new things, keep things interesting. And uh, this is a really good exercise. Lunges in general are a very good exercise for your glutes and some of your hamstrings as well. But you want to go deep if you want to feel it in the gluteus maximus. So, uh, you know, step out far, go deep, control it, and there you go. Whenever I step, whenever I take short steps, then I, I, I end up developing like this pain in my knee. So I, I make sure to step out far enough to where it's like a kind of like a, a 90 degree angle with my knee and my leg. So really good exercise for the glutes though. I was feeling that the next day. So going 10 each leg, 10 each leg. You can do more if you want to, you know, all personal preference. Alright, so the next exercise, so actually after that exercise, before this exercise, there were three sets of leg presses on the machine, and on the machine I put my feet close together to put more emphasis on the outer quads, the outer quads to give you that huge wide quads look, you know, the, the quads of the gods, some might say. So. Uh, um, actually, I accidentally I accidentally copied over that video file, so that's why uh, it's not in this video. Whoops. So this exercise, nothing much to say. It's a leg extension, but focus on controlling the weight up and controlling it down. See, when I get to the top, I hold it there for a second, squeeze, and then come down slowly. You want to control the positive and the negative part of the motion. Or, I don't know if they say positive, but you want to control the negative part of the motion. Anyways. Here's, uh, this is a hamstring slash glute focusing exercise, the Romanian deadlifts. You can also do stiff-legged deadlifts. It's a personal preference. It really doesn't matter. It's just whichever one you feel more in the glutes and hamstrings. I personally feel it more doing the Romanian deadlifts, 
One thing to keep in mind though is that if you really want to feel it in the glutes is you see how I'm humping the bar at the end at the end? I little, why did I say that? You see I'm humping the bar at the end of each rep? That's because I'm fully squeezing my glutes at the end of each rep. That's the squeeze of the of the muscle. So if you really want to feel it in the glutes, you're gonna have to uh, get a little hump, humpity hump. So the next exercise, this is this is mainly hamstrings, but you also feel it in your glutes, is the lying leg curls. So same thing as the leg extensions, control it on the way up, squeeze it at the top, and control it on the way down. Don't just drop the weights. You don't want to be dropping the weights. Don't let the weights control you. You control the weights, you know? Man made the weights, so man must control the weights. All right, that, that was completely random. <laughs> and, all right, so the last exercise for the leg workout is some seated calf raises, five sets of 12 to 20. And you see I keep the rest time short so you really feel it in your calves. Your calves start burning. And the 12 to 20 is because the first set I always do 20, but you might not be able to do 20 after that, so, but I keep it at least 12. Here's another view. And as you can see, you want to control it up, squeeze and control it down. Don't just be slamming it around. Don't be like jerking around your calves because you're not going to feel anything like that. So anyways, that's the end. Let me know what you think.